Hey, good afternoon. It's Monday. And for today's topic discussion, we are going to talk about which mobile OS is more secure. Would it be Android? Would it be iOS? And from a lot of publications, a lot of sites out there, you guys probably already heard it that iOS is secure. But I'm going to tell you guys from my point of view why that is and what is happening as most publications have people thinking like when they title their stuff, um, Android's full of virus and malware. It makes people think like, oh, as soon as you boot on Android phone on, it's like full of viruses. It's being attacked immediately. That's furthest from the truth. Okay. Um, iOS is secure and Android is secure. Okay. Let's just say that off jump. Both mobile OS platforms are secure when it's given to the masses. Okay. Um, there are various reasons why Android seems to be in the limelight when it comes to viruses and malware versus iOS. And I'm gonna break that down for you guys, why it is that way. So for iOS, the main reason why iOS is pretty hard for hackers to basically, you know, tamper with and get into it and, you know, put, you know, malicious content like malware and viruses in, into the iOS system is for the fact that it's very close. It's a very close system. So we know that Apple pretty much does not let anyone tamper with iOS at all. Like you can be, you know, a certified in the basement geek and have some brilliant ideas and coding that can work great for iOS and develop it into something much more. But Apple is not going to let you on board and mess around with their, their operating system. You, in fact, would have to be employed by Apple. You would have to be screened by Apple. You would have to work for them. And all your ideas would then need to become basically Apple's, right? So you couldn't, like, go off and sell your, your code to Microsoft or Google. Um, it would belong to Apple. So they don't let third, third parties in. They don't let... Um, in basement tinkerers and everything is closed system which makes it harder for hackers to then break into um, you know iPhones and do some malicious things or even on iPads but that's to say this and I'm saying this right now Apple may be classified as secure it doesn't mean that it is impenetrable okay how do you think that people were able to hack iCloud and steal photos and things like that? So when it comes to iOS, hackers have their work cut out for them. But can they get into iOS? Yes, they can. They definitely can. It's not impenetrable. It's just more secure compared to Android. The reason why Android has more attacks done on it is several things are the key players here. One is that Android is open source. You can go and get the source code files for the version of Android. It is there ready and available. And when you have the source code files, you can find vulnerabilities within the operating system that would allow you to expose those loopholes and get you in there for whatever reasons you're trying to get into it. That is one reason. The second reason is OEMs. While OEMs use Android, they do their different spins on it. So LG, Samsung, they put their different stuff into it. Now, when they do, some of the things that they add in on top of Android could have weaknesses and vulnerabilities as well, which can be exploited by hackers. Okay, that's number two. Number three is all the tinkering that can be done by you, the consumer. Because you are able to get full control of your Android device by root method, you could be tinkering around with settings that could open up some vulnerabilities within Android and then thus make you vulnerable for attacks, viruses, and malware. And actually there's a fourth one, which I will just go ahead and say it, and that's people installing third-party apps through sideloading. That is the fourth reason. Four reasons makes it where it seems like Android is so weak, it's so brittle, its security is just Game Boy level that um, people tend to stay away from Android and that's one of their biggest things is, oh yeah, you know, Android's full of viruses and malware. Like, no, it's not. When the phone comes out of the box and you power it on for the first time, it is not loaded with malware and viruses. If you think that you really need to stop and you really need to take take a look at life itself and wonder if that's, if like, were you born into a hellacious world that was automatically bad from jump, okay? Um, Android, is not full of viruses and malware. The viruses and malware that any smartphone gets is usually done by the consumer themselves. That is one of the reasons why. Or it is done by the OEMs because of an exploited weakness within the OEMs feature packed on top of Android. 
those are the number the number one spots that are taken why Android devices are so vulnerable security wise is for that very reason. When someone decides this, hey, you know, I see a lot of YouTubers talking about custom ROMs and, and flashing and all this other stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and do it too. And they go and they take their phone and they root it and then they start playing with the settings like, oh yeah, I wanna be able to, you know, remap this key for this certain functionality in this certain app. So they start playing around with, you know, with it and 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 um and editing um you know the coding itself and not realizing certain things are in place for a certain reason and when you start to mess with android you start to create you it's like think of it like this like you're inside a paper bag and every time that you change a setting or you rewrite a script you're punching holes in that paper bag soon that paper bag becomes vulnerable that anything could get in a fly a mosquito a worm a bee just think of it like that that's what's happening when you're constantly messing with android and if you really don't know what you're doing you're really setting yourself up to be exposed and that's where a lot of things happen now as far as the oem side they may want to go and implement this feature into their smartphone that other competitors don't have but that certain feature comes with weaknesses that if a certain hacker was able to discover it could use that as an exploit to get in and then cause some damage okay but off jump android has become a lot more secure than what it used to be back in like 2010 2011 nowadays especially for those who are worried about security as far as phone theft people stealing your phone now ios has had that on lock for the longest time because once a phone is stolen you can you can use um the icloud to track your phone which is find my iphone and um it you know once once you know the phone has an, an icloud account on it unless the user takes their icloud account off that phone is pretty much locked to that user right android has followed in that step and this ain't about you know who followed who point is phones are secure so for those people out there who are thinking i'm going to steal someone's phone and i'm going to find a way to wipe it like an android device you can't really do it anymore now that you have that um was it the the fpr i think it is which is basically um when you wipe an android device so if you find an android smartphone you pick it up and you boot into recovery because you looked it up online and you wipe the phone when it boots back on for the first time it's going to want you to log into the last known gmail account that's on there and sure there's a lot of videos that show you guys how to bypass it but android has developed it more and more and more with each iteration of android that now a lot of those youtube videos that shows you how to bypass that and get into the phone no longer work so you need the gmail account to actually get in pretty much dead done um, and that's good for Android users because then that just makes the phone nothing more than paperweight. Like you can't even just steal someone's phone and just use it on Wi-Fi. So you can say, Hey, you know, I got a, you know, I got a brand new um, Galaxy S10 E. And even though I can't put my SIM card in it because the phone's stolen and da 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 da, I could use it on Wi-Fi at home and look cool. Like you can't even do that anymore because it's just going to say log in with the last known Gmail account. And the only way you're going to get that is from the owner themselves. So as far as for phone theft, both um, iOS and Android have it pretty good now. Um, vulnerabilities to hackers, yes. On iOS, it can be done, okay? It may not have as much exploits as Android does, but it can be done. Look at all the various iCloud accounts that's been hacked and photos stolen, especially from celebrities, personal photos of theirs have been stolen and leaked online. Uh, that's how. So trust me, those people are using iPhones. So it doesn't mean that iPhone is impenetrable. It is. You can hack it. You just got to put some elbow grease into it. As far as Android, there are so many exploits, so many reasons of how hackers can get in. And plus, Android is used worldwide. I mean, iOS is too, but... Android is really much, pretty much everywhere. So that is another reason why um, more hackers tend to focus on Androids because a lot of people are using them. So target that, especially, you know, it's, it's like a perfect world for a hacker. A lot of people are using it, more chances of vulnerabilities, less elbow grease they need to put into it to get work done, to get what they want to get. So target that. So that is the reasons between them. So are they both secure? Yes. Does one have more exploits and vulnerabilities than the other? Yes, Android does. But do both come with malware and viruses already in them? No, both operating systems are clean from jump, okay? It's just like I said with Android, it just depends on what you use it, how you use it, what you've done to it will be the reasons why your device may have some malware, may have some viruses, yes. And by installing third-party apps too as well and sideloading those, that could also carry malware so anyways guys that's pretty much it my um 
explanations of security between iOS and Android. Let me know what you guys' thoughts in the comment section of the video. Um, if you have any more that you want to add on that I may have missed, please add that in so everyone else can read it. And thanks so much for checking out Monday's video. No, it's a pretty long one, but a lot to talk about in it. So thanks again for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Hit that bell option to know when I upload a video, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Aloha.